What are you hoping to hear from the governor in the state of the state? What would you like to hear him lay out? Well, I'd like to hear some, some commonality and some specifics with uh, some of the issues the governor and I have previously discussed. You know, I, I am happy to say that uh, it appears, at least at the outset, that the governor uh, is reaching out to those of us in the House more than he has in the past. I take that as a good sign. I spent over an hour with him uh, last week. We had lunch. It was the most productive conversation I've had with the governor because it was the most substantive conversation I've had. And I, I think the governor and I have decided that uh, you know, he, he's term limited out with four years left. I'm term limited out with two years left. And we've decided that we both would like to leave a positive legacy on the state. And so the things that we disagree upon, we pretty much know what those are at this point in time. And we're going to uh, civilly disagree on those and put those aside. And what we're going to work on are the areas where we have commonality. And, and, and I think those areas will benefit all Missourians. And I think it's going to be in the areas of, um, of, uh, of searching for a solution to our, our transportation uh, funding questions, searching for uh, good job creation strategies. Uh, I think the governor has been tentatively moving towards um, my positions on, on some education reform, maybe not as bold as I've been, but there's been some indications from him. And so that's something I like to hear in his speech. Uh, I was very specific in, in my speech as to uh, the need to make sure we have the best and brightest teachers in our schools and they should not be held back by unfair uh, labor contracts. So I hope to hear some teacher accountability referenced in his speech. Um, you know, I, I think the governor and I are going to be on the, uh, a similar page when it comes to tax credit reform. I think there's some significant things we can do in that area, but I think there's also some areas where we can look to uh, uh, improve our economic development tools. And I look at all of our neighboring states and some of the successes they've had with some of the bills we've been debating for a long time, and I say, you know, I think it's time to move those forward. So I think there's going to be a lot of commonality there. Are you going to be delivering a Republican response, or is that? Yes, yeah. I will be. You will be. In past years with the state of the state, the budget has been it is pretty well dominated in some ways dominated the speech with the budget being a little better do you think the speech could uh, be more significant than the budget that the governor lays out i i think uh, in the past few years with the challenges we've grown accustomed to in the budget uh i i think we're we're accustomed to the challenges we're going to have this year on the budget so uh, i i think our debates on the budget have been very civil in the last few years we've dealt with the money uh that has that is that is there for us and we've actually finished the budget the last, I think, three years ahead of schedule. So I, I think we all know what our fiscal house is. We have to continue to keep that in order, and we will. And uh, the governor was obviously on the same page with us back in the election cycle with wanting to make sure we have that true balanced budget. So, yes, I do hope we can now have a broader discussion on more substantive issues, and I look forward to hearing that in his speech.